Tonight, a local Virginia woman says she can move her feet for the first time since being paralyzed after a car accident. This is really a remarkable story. Michelle Ferrara's reported progress comes just nine days after she had a stem cell transplant in South Korea. Medical reporter Kathy Fowler has been following the story and joins us with the latest on Michelle's condition. Yeah, it's a little hard to believe. I talked to Michelle on the phone early this morning. She says she can move her feet from a pointed position to a flex position. It's a simple move most people take for granted. But for someone paralyzed from the chest down, it's a milestone. And she, she said that she moved, I moved my toes, mother, I moved my toes. <laughs> she was so excited. Nan Parker always had serious concerns about her daughter traveling halfway around the world to South Korea for a stem cell transplant that isn't offered here in the United States. But her skepticism shifted to sheer awe last night when Michelle Farrar called her mother and her nephew with some very good news. She was just laying there and they asked her to do it and she didn't even recognize that she was doing it, but she could do it on demand. She was wiggling her toes. and. Everybody went crazy, went nuts. And I was like, oh dear God, you know, it, it's, it's just like an answer awesome. right there. It's, I mean, this is the beginning of her walking. Since her car accident two years ago, Michelle's been told by numerous doctors she'd never walk again. Dr. Robert Lyles has been treating Michelle for over a year. No, we never expected her to move her lower extremities at all. But nine days ago, South Korean doctors transplanted 10 to 20 million stem cells from two different umbilical cords directly at the site of Michelle's spinal cord injury. And already, there's been progress. I think this is one of the most exciting events that I've had in my career. Oh, God, this is the best Christmas present that we all can have. Now this is good news, but it's not enough for Michelle to report any progress. That's why all day today, Michelle underwent a series of tests so South Korean doctors could scientifically document and prove any neurological improvements. Michelle returns home to the United States on Christmas Day. Wow, amazing. amazing. And I know a lot of people are watching this. Yeah. You know, to see we'll follow if it it's closely. something we should be doing in this country. Yep. Thanks so much, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try, okay? okay. Michelle, don't move on. I you did it this time, all of the times, so, huh? Yeah, I pray a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone at home is praying. Mm -hmm. yeah, Make yeah. sure you see the movement. Yeah, yeah. One more time. One more. Yeah. One, two, three. Whoa! It's a big movement. <laughs> Is that reflex? Remember, I had no reflex yesterday uh, during the test. Um, I had reflex on the right foot. The right foot seems to be stronger. Yeah. You ready, Paul? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's because I'm tired. Before, early. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm, that's good. Oh, let me try again. Try, try, try. <laughs> yes, move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs>